Hi, I'm Pat O'Toole, and I'm with HousingZone.com. I'm with Dave Barista, the editor in chief of Professional Builder Magazine. HousingZone.com is for professional build is a portal for professional builder, custom builder, professional remodeler magazines. And during the week of April 11th, uh, we've got a lot of new stories posting to HousingZone.com. Most importantly, we've got uh, a new issue of Professional Builder Magazine, the April issue, which is going to be posted online. A couple of great stories in that issue, particularly one on home designs, leading trends in home designs, uh, culled from all around the United States by our longtime contributor, Sue Beatty. She's been writing about the industry for a long time. Dave Barista, she uncovered a lot of new trends. What are the top five, or how do you want to organize this? the thoughts on this? Great, yeah. So Sue's been covering residential design for more than 20 years. She knows sure. everyone in the industry. Absolutely. So what she did was she reached out to um, her friends in the architecture community, um, of course the design community, and the builders. And what she wanted to do was identify what are the best-selling home designs mm -hmm. in the market right now. Mm -hmm. So she came up with eight in particular. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I went through the report, and I kind of pulled out five commonalities that run across um, these eight projects. What makes them best seller? So right. quickly, um, each and every one seemed to live big. So uh, they may not be um, large square footage wise, but they use stuff like outdoor living. They use great rooms, have a nice flow to the plan to make it feel like a bigger space. Certainly, yeah. that's a trend you can see in a lot of model homes today, mm -hmm. for sure. Great yes. idea. Uh, quickly, um, all these homes are very flexible in the sense that you could change room uh, uses, you know, change a den into an office, a, a fourth bedroom into mm -hmm. a game room, that sort of thing. They're mm -hmm. designed to do that. Uh, most of them are selling to buyers other than uh, that were originally intended. Wait, so let, let me hear that right, Dave. People are building houses for one set of buyers and another set of buyers is coming in. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, and a, few, uh, a few quotes in the story. Of, you know, the, the builders were just completely surprised. Uh, one project in, in or one community in particular is um, a community out in California. They're building mostly ranch homes mm -hmm. intended for the empty nesters, the baby boomers, mm -hmm. and half of the sales have been to young families. They don't want to deal with uh, the stairs with kids running around. Mm -hmm. They like the flow to the plan. Mm -hmm. They like the fact that the master suite is off on the other side of the home, but yet is very accessible to where their kids are sleeping. It makes a lot of sense. The ranch is really, really popular, and it's a great place to live. Mm -hmm. Simply said. So. Yeah. Uh, also, you know, all these homes are extremely efficient space-wise. Mm -hmm. There's no wasted space anymore. They're getting rid of the two-story uh, foyers, the cathedral ceilings, mm -hmm. the long hallways that lead to nowhere, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. They need to maximize that space. Mm -hmm. And finally, they're architecturally accurate. They have great curb appeal. And we're finding that the manufacturers are helping with this. There are more manufacturers that are offering a huge mix of exterior products, mm -hmm for um, costs that are much lower today mm -hmm. with stuff like stone veneer and mm -hmm. board, uh, board and batten siding mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So you can create a great exterior for much less. Uh, uh, you know what's really interesting about that trend, Dave, and I totally agree, and obviously all the builders would probably agree too. They're nodding their heads out there. But a few years ago, the work, the research that went into Ladera Ranch out in Southern California, uh, they focused on these cultural creatives, people who wanted authenticity in the way they lived and the houses that they lived in. So this completely dovetails with that trend. People want to live in a colonial that looks like a colonial, feels like a colonial, and is a colonial. There's no kind of um, imitation stuff mm -hmm. happening there. So very interesting trends. You can read about them on HousingZone.com this week. The latest issue of Professional Builder is up, and our design story is something you won't want to miss. So for Professional Builder Magazine, Custom Builder Magazine, Professional Remodeler, I'm Pat O'Toole and Dave Barista. Please join us on HousingZone.com this week.